Well, drama in the courtroom as a teenager learned his fate for shooting and killing another teen. Thaddeus Tucker was 15 when he killed Nubian James, an honor roll student at Williamson High School. Officials say they were playing with a gun, unaware a bullet was in the chamber. Today, Tucker was sentenced to one year in the county jail. Local 15's Andrew Ramey was the only reporter in the courtroom. You could hear the shouts coming through the door from Nubian James's mother. She cried so hard at times you couldn't understand her words. But the message was clear. One year behind bars was not enough. You can kill a dog and get more time than you can a young black boy. The drama didn't stop at the door. Emotions spilled out into the hallway. While many sobbed, Another sang to uplift the family's spirits. We shall overcome someday. As for friends and family of Thaddeus Tucker, they had no comment. Tension in this case has been building. Nubian's family protested daily outside the courthouse and held a rally. Today, extra security was on hand in anticipation of courtroom outbursts. Though the district attorney's office had recommended charging Tucker with manslaughter, which could have meant up to 20 years behind bars, Judge Robert Smith found Tucker guilty of criminally negligent homicide, a crime that carries a maximum penalty of one year in jail. Judge Smith told Tucker he would also get credit for time served. Eight months for my baby. Eight months for my... Nubian's family says the only justice they will get now will come from God. He still got another judge he got to stand before. Now, several of Tucker's family members spoke on his behalf today to the judge. Tucker did not say anything before his sentence was handed down. Kim? All right, Andrea. Judge Smith said his office received numerous letters, some he called disturbing letters, accusing him of racism. He says those accusations are not true. The family says youth violence should carry a stricter penalty.